Hello guys. Okay, trying this again. I got it kicked off. It was like too low of a connection before, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave this shopping link right here in the comments. So this is where you can find all of the makeup I'm gonna be sharing with the deals. All right, so pin that there. And we'll wait for everyone to get here before we get started. So super kind of fun, exciting news to share, which if you follow me on Instagram, you already know because I always post there first. So I'm gonna tighten this one up. There we go. Hello, doing so good, thank you. It's so good to be home. If you guys missed it, I was in Utah for a couple days at Unique's Corporate, having some really awesome meetings and finding out some really exciting things. And then we came home and we were so excited. It was finally time to pick up our kittens. Um, if you saw on my Instagram story, we got two baby kittens. We named them June and Piper. And they're so stinking cute and so sweet. So we are just in kitty heaven. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, remind you guys to shop right here, rayahope.com. And make sure that you subscribe to my blog by... Um, scrolling down to the very bottom and you'll see a little subscription area. It's in blue. So that's where you can subscribe so you don't miss out on any uh, future Intel information, all the good things. So make sure to do that and we'll get started. So new month, I can't believe it's taken me like five days of the month to go live, but I am so excited to share with you guys some like things that are happening on the website. So the first thing that's going on is the foundation is still 25% off. Um, super excited that you guys can still get this on sale. And then, so make sure to take advantage of that before it's gone. And then also huge launch happened with our magnetic lashes. That's super exciting. So they came in two styles. The first one is inspiring. And then there is also um, one called encouraging. Encouraging is going to be a little bit more every day. Inspiring is a little bit more dramatic. We're going to use these today in our live. So they are magnetic lashes, which is super, in my opinion, way easier than like the glue and all of that. Um, so the first bundle, so what's really cool is that this month there's three different choices when it comes to the August special. So the first August special comes with your magnetic lash of choice, the magnetic liner, and the tweezers to help to apply. The second option of bundle, say you're not into magnetic lashes, that's totally fine. You can still utilize the sale. You get the twisted mascara, the lash primer, and I believe an eyeliner, and then I think also the lash curler, if I'm remembering correctly. There are so many different options to customize all three bundles, but they're all major savings. Oh, it comes with um, shine cloths to remove your eye makeup. So the other bundle, which is the third, comes with everything, comes with all of the mascara, all the liners, comes with all the magnetic lash, like everything uh, at a huge discount too. So make sure to check out those. All three options are under August special. So if you go to rayahope.com, scroll down to you see shop beauty, then you can click on August special and you'll see the deals. If you guys need me to message you the deals, I can too. So just let me know how I can help. Um, but we'll go ahead and get started. I just realized I didn't pick out any eyeshadow or any lip products. I was like, wow, I feel like I don't have a lot of makeup on my table. <laughs> Perfect. I will definitely be messaging. I know I'm a little bit behind on my messages with the kittens and traveling. I'm like all over the place. I'm so sorry, but I will definitely be getting back to you guys about all the color matches and all the good stuff um, today. So be on the lookout for that. All right, let's do kind of like a smokier eye. And then for lips, let's do, let's do, 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 do. Hmm. Let's do Easy Street and Lux. The go-to, let's do the go-to. All right, settled. All right, so now for foundation, we're gonna use the Liquid Touch foundation since it's still on sale. Yes, we got two new kittens. Um, they are 14 and 18 weeks old and they're the cutest things ever. Uh, super excited about them. They're so sweet, so cute. If you wanna see more photos and videos of them, make sure to follow me over on Instagram. My Instagram stories are like filled with them right now, which if you follow me on Instagram, you want to watch the Instagram stories, which is how, you, how to do it is you just click on the profile picture for them to begin to play. 
All right, so we're going to put on our Liquid Touch foundation in the shade Taffeta. Ooh, almost a car accident. And we're just going to kind of dot this around our skin. And then we're going to begin to apply. So this is my personal favorite way to apply the Liquid Touch foundation because with this brush, it just gets it on there really evenly and really softly. Um, I also really love that it's completely buildable. So if you're wanting to do lighter coverage, you can achieve that or fuller coverage, you can achieve that too. So the power is in your hands. All right, and if you need to be color matched for any of the foundation, make sure to just comment color match down below. And this month, since the foundation, the only foundation that's on sale is a Liquid Touch, I'll always reference the tutorials that I did last month, um, which I did the Liquid Touch foundation like in every single thing. The new foundation comes out, I think in October? I want to say I forget. No, our kitty never came home and we definitely had a void in our hearts for that. So um, obviously we would be so, so excited if she ever came home because she'll be coming home to two sisters. But no, she never did. Um, for the fuller coverage, we're going to go in with just a little bit more. And I always do this anytime I have like a little bit of a breakout. I always break out when I fly on airplanes. I think it's like the dirty, the dirty air. So I'm going to go in with just a touch bit more and I'm going to use the blending buds for this step. September. Yes. Try the BB cream. So good. Oh my gosh. Right. I love that combination, which if you missed out or confused with what we're saying, the BB flaws complexion enhancer is like a tinted moisturizer and it's super uh, hydrating and creamy. And then if you mix it with the liquid touch foundation, which is what I'm using right here, this is super, super good for, um, not only enhancing the coverage, but also kind of changing up the texture of it. And you just get the best of both worlds. You get like the full hydrating natural SPF coverage, but then you also get the wonderful, like flawless finish coverage of the liquid touch foundation. So again, if you haven't yet, make sure to comment color match down below so I can get you fully set up with your new products, your new makeup and all the good stuff. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on now. So again, that was a liquid touch foundation in the shade Taffeta that we used. And we're gonna go in now with the Skin Solution Concealer. And I'm gonna use this on my under eyes. And this is like hands down my favorite concealer ever. It has caffeine infused in it and it gives you like an instant little eye lift, but on top of that too, it also is so nourishing for your skin and it is the best for like hiding dark circles and just being super opaque, meaning like you cannot see through it. Ah, oh, nice Whitney. Make sure to like and comment on my Instagram photos is one way to be able to get happy mail from me. And then I'm also doing another really fun thing too on my page here on Facebook, Raya Hope. And to enter, all you have to do is turn on the notifications, which I have a little um, like how to saved on my page. So if you want to enter into getting the happy mail from me, make sure to uh, check out my page here on Facebook, Raya Hope. And then also on my Instagram, all you have to do is like and comment on my post on Instagram, and I always choose one lucky lady. Do you apply the BB and the Liquid Touch to mix together on top of another? Yes. Yeah, so I'll use the powder concealer brush, and I'll put the BB the BB floss on first, and then I'll do the Liquid Touch foundation over top, and then I'll apply. But um, so it's just easier to mix it that way. But you can then go in with like either or and apply it all over too. And then Skin Solution Concealer is on. I love how like vibrant my under eyes look it's really really good too if you have puffy under eyes because it takes away that like extra puffiness with that caffeine that's infused it kind of nourishes those that area all right so now i'm going to go in with my touch Behold translucent setting powder so this is the best powder for oily skin if you have more dry skin i would recommend the prime to set powder which is let me move some things around so i can grab it which is this guy so this is a really good powder for more dry skin because it has a water releasing technology in it, which is kind of crazy sounding, but it's amazing. It releases this water, like almost water feel into your foundation, which helps it to expand and just look softer, more natural, stay in place. It's phenomenal. So really good product if you have dry skin. So if you guys have any other questions about makeup, make sure to just comment them down below. I always try to answer as many as I can. And then uh, make sure that you also, if you need any help picking out your makeup, you comment color match. If you have 
any questions on um, anything about makeup or skincare, just holler them out. Yay, hello, hi guys. What BB shade is close to tool? You'll want the shade cream. Uh, I think I saw a question. Are the foundation colors the same as both the spray and the mineral foundation? Yes, all the colors are the same, um, including the pressed powder colors too. So if you know what color you are, you know what color you are in everything. But if you're unsure, just comment color match down below. Um, thank you. I already linked my uh, little pink suit on my Like to Know It. That's where you can shop all of my different outfits. I have those all linked there. So in the BB cream, there's a natural SPF in it. So it's not like an SPF 30 or anything if you're allergic, which is kind of nice. Can I put the eye cream in the refrigerator? Absolutely, you definitely can. Yeah, if you have like a little skincare fridge or if you just want to keep your skincare in the fridge, it's totally cool. Totally fine. I use the Touch Behold Translucent Setting Powder for myself today. I have more oily skin, so that's the best one for me. Um, so that's the one I love the most because it helps to absorb any of the oil. So instead of your oils pushing against your foundation, it helps to absorb. All right, so now for pressed powder, we're going to do the shade Taffeta. I love this pressed powder so much. It has vitamin E and like sh almost like a shea buttery feel to it. It's so hydrating and also has a natural UV protected in it. So it's also going to help protect your skin from those evil sun rays. Uh, but I just love this coverage so much because it just gives you like a really nice like finish to your skin. Uh, thank you. I know the kittens are so sweet. I love them so much. Did you spray the finishing spray on your blending bud? Yes. So I always spray the setting spray on top of my blending bud before I apply because it really helps kind of um, set the setting powder really well on your skin. So I do recommend to do that. How many setting powders a month do you go through? Uh, none. I go through a setting powder in probably like... Uh, five months, five and a half months. And then pressed powder, I probably go through that like around the same time, like five or six months. So all of my products really do last like almost half a year, if not more, a little more or a little less. So that's another reason that I've always been a huge fan of this brand is because I feel like I'm not having to like restock and spend all this money like every single month on like replenishing my makeup. I also really like that everything is in the same place. So it's all right here, rayahope.com underneath shop beauty. And all, also my favorite part, especially when I first started out, when I had no idea how to do makeup, I really liked that at any time I could contact my girl and get like advice or tips or help with makeup. So if that sounds like you, if you're like, oh my gosh, I need help. I want to know that I have someone at my disposal. Make sure you shop right here on my website and I, I will be that girl for you. Uh, color concealer that goes with lace. I would probably do the shade Organza for a more brightening effect. All right, and now I'm taking my bronzer, which is still in stock in the shade Sunset, which is a really great neutral shade. And I use this to like give us an overall like really bronzed effect, but it also is super, super good at um, giving you that warmth to your skin. It makes you, your face look so much thinner too. Ah, uh, thank you. Thanks, Tammy. All right, so down the sides of the nose, just like so. Beautiful. All right, so now we're gonna go in with our blush. Favorite blush, hands down, this one. This is the shade Sisterly. It's my absolute favorite because it has a really pretty sheen to it. So it gives your skin not only like a really pretty sheen, but also adds just a very slight flush of color to it. So it doesn't like, when I put it on, I'm not like, oh my gosh, I have so much blush on, it looks ridiculous. It's very soft on your skin. The concealer I used was called the looks like this. This is called the Skin Solution Concealer. Look how big that is. It's such a Mac Daddy, so you don't fly through it at all. But it has caffeine infused in it. It's phenomenal. If you need to be color matched, if you're like, I don't know what color I wear in that concealer, just comment color match down below and I'll private message you a full recommendation. Um, and also, if you have messaged me and you didn't hear back, one, I'm not fully caught up from my being away. Um, so make sure to check back in. But if you messaged me like last week or whatever, make sure to uh, tap on my face. A little description window pops down and you can click on my name, Rhea Hope, 
once you click on Ray of Hope, it'll take you to my uh, Facebook and you can message me there. Uh, what brow filler would you recommend on the next brow, but it only lasts a few months? Oh, I hate that. I hate when products only last like a few short, like a short time. Um, I personally would do the brow sculpting pencil. I feel like this lasts like so, so, so long and it's very simple to use. So I would personally do the brow sculpting pencil. Thank you. All right, so I just use the Touch Behold setting, um, not settings, but uh, Touch Behold, Touch a la Mode Luminizer, cannot speak right now. And I just pop that on the highest parts of the cheekbones. That will be like the perfect product for just giving your makeup just a little bit of a zhuzh, kind of adds a little bit to your, um, your skin. So if you ever feel like your makeup's been looking dull or boring, it's a perfect product to like implement into your everyday routine that's not drastic or crazy or expensive. Okay, so now for, actually, I lied. Let's do brows first. So we're going to do our eyebrows. Comb through any foundation that's in there. Just like that. A little off topic. What is the razor? Yes, that is the razor. You guys are good. Um, That's kind of a hard question to answer. So sisterly and sweet are almost essentially like the same color. The only difference is that sisterly has a sheen to it and sweet is going to be matte. So it kind of depends on what your preference is with your blush. If you like a more sheen kind of highlight to it or if you like something that's a little bit more matte. But that's why I really love color matching you guys because we kind of go over a lot of that. We decide like what products you personally um, gear towards and then I can offer you recommendation based off that so um, always send me a selfie facing a window and I can give you my recommendation of what I think th what products would be like best for your skin and your skin tone and all of that good stuff so make sure to send me message me a selfie facing a window and I say to do that because when you're inside and the light is like very lightly shining on your face that's where you get the like truest skin tone of your face as opposed to being outside and uh the light has a tendency to like wash you out um versus being inside you're kind of protected from most of the harsh light uh but it still illuminizes your true skin tone so make sure to again send me that selfie facing window and if you have like a good profile picture that is totally fine too jane just make sure to send that to me because I like to kind of go off of your photos while color matching you. So I don't like, I'm not hopping back and forth. I want to make sure it all looks super um, accurate. All right. So I went ahead and did my brows with a brow sculpting pencil. This one's so good because it has vitamin E, has argan oil and biotin infused in it. So it actually helps your brows to grow while you're wearing it. But it also nourishes your eyebrows. So you get like the most gorgeous, like fluffy, healthy looking brows. And then for our eyes, we're going to start off with the eyeliner in the shade Perfect and just uh, apply this on our waterline. I love this because it actually stays put. Put When you put it on, it doesn't like smear, or give you raccoon eyes throughout the day. So, so good. And on the top line, I just kind of hold it and then I'll place it on like the upside corner of my lid and I'll just kind of blink on top of it and move it forward. And if that freaks you out, <laughs> you can always kind of like hold your eye open like this and then color on the waterline too works as well. I don't know way. You're definitely not too old for sheen for sure. I feel like it's very flattering on the skin. Um, but if you confidently don't want a sheen, that's totally fine too. I would do the shade sweet then for you. All right, then for our eyes, like I said, we're going to go simple on our eyeshadow because I want to show you guys this magnetic liner trick or mag magnetic liner tutorial. So I'm going to start off with my liquid eyeshadow in the shade Overt, and I'm just going to apply this on the crease, like closer to the crease, and it doesn't have to be neat, tidy, anything. Then you're going to go in with the fluffy crease brush. I'm just going to dab at it at first just to blend it out. And then once I feel like it's mostly like all over, then I'll use a little bit heavier of a hand and then start to apply. I always recommend to apply with your eyes open. This will ensure that your shadow gets up and above. And I'm just going to kind of blend this out all over the lid and then up into the crease, just like this. 
Do you think I should try the blonde color? Uh, send me a selfie facing a window and I can let you know what color you are. The eyeliner is not like advertised as waterproof, but it is dang water resistant. I know I love this color. It's so pretty by itself like I'm wearing it right now, but it's stunning with other colors too. All right, so then on this side, same thing, just apply kind of near the crease. And then once you have the majority of the color on there, then again, take the fluffy crease brush and dab, and then I'll start to blend. I've been with this company for over five years, which is so crazy to think about. But yeah, it's been, it's been over five years that I've been using the same brand, which is so cool. I always have shared kind of my like background with being like a tomboy and not knowing anything about makeup and just kind of grabbing one product at a time and then falling just in love with how easy they were to learn with. And I loved that I had like a girl like myself that I could always go to if I had questions on application or anything. And that I love that I could watch these tutorials where I had the same products where I could kind of copy them and get like a very similar effect and look. So that was another reason that I loved doing this. Cause I mean, how often is it that you know a person or watch someone online or something that has every same product and color you have, you know what I mean? In makeup. So it just like, it's easy. Cause you get to like have inspiration on like, okay, I got these colors. So what should I do? What should I wear? Kind of thing. And then for, our bottom lash line, I took the same color, but on a liner brush. And I'm just, I kind of took a lot of it. So that's why I'm kind of spreading it between the both eyes. But this is a, like a cool little kind of trick. If you have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles under your under eyes and you are worried about your liner or anything kind of smudging or smearing around, this will kind of help to kind of hide that a little bit. Just like this. Aw, thank you. So Lisa, I would definitely make sure that you're using a pre-makeup routine, which is my pre-makeup routine I swear by, especially for hiding pores because the mattifying face primer actually helps to blur them. So using like a touch bold setting spray, mattifying face primer setting spray, I go back and forth with that and it's phenomenal on hiding uh, large pores. Also using the brightening face mask. It's a face mask. It's like a it's a skincare face mask. Use it like one to two times a week and it helps to tighten all of those areas too. So highly recommend. Okay, so now let's do, I lied. Let's do our lips and then we're gonna do our lashes because our lashes are the main focus. So let's do our lips really fast. I'm just lining them with a Kylie Jenner lip liner because we don't have nude colors yet. Stay tuned for that. Like I can never talk while doing this. Okay, finished. Now I'm gonna go in with my lipstick in the shade Easy Street, which is one of my favorite colors because it's so creamy and matte and has a phenomenal hold for being just like a lipstick. And it's one of those colors that just looks really good on everybody because it's so soft and neutral. It's so, so pretty on. And then now I'm going to top it with the lip gloss in the shade Luxe, which is a high gloss nude finish. But the lip glosses aren't like sticky. They're so, so good. So again, Luxe and Easy Street. If you're like, okay, Rhea, I want a lip combo that I can wear anytime, any day, anywhere with any look, this is it. Uh, any kind of nude lip liner. And then we did uh, Easy Street Lipstick and Luxe Lip Gloss. Super pretty. All right, so let's do these lashes. You guys ready? All right, so first thing is first, okay? Step one. Step one is dip and draw eyeliner. So I have been playing around with these uh, magnetic lashes for a while. You guys know my preference is mascara. 
That's not something that I'm going to magically be like, oh, I changed my mind because I have magnetic lashes now. I'm all, you guys know me, I'm always super transparent and very authentic with my opinions on makeup, no matter if I sell it or not. Um, and my preference is mascara. I like the mascara coverage for myself, but I will teach you because that is what I am here to do, um, how to apply magnetic lashes. These ones are very easy to use in comparison to a lot of other brands that I've tried. Um, and I'm going to show you kind of my tips and tricks with it because I'm playing around with it for the best case scenario. So first thing is first is the dip and draw eyeliner. This is gonna be an important first step because I'll get to that with a magnetic liner, but trust, you want this. So dip and draw eyeliner, I've talked about this a lot, has a really pointed tip, like a dagger. So it makes doing this step really easy. So I always kinda take my finger, put it around my eye, and then I'll kinda pull back, not like really tight, cause you don't wanna create like um, lines in your liner. So just slightly, and then you're gonna start on the inner corner. Wait till you feel the liner, and then I will very lightly follow the lash line. You want to stay as close to your eyelashes as possible. Once you get to the outer corner, I'll kind of open my eye and then just drag it down a little bit. Just like that. Okay, so we've done one eye. Now we're gonna do the other. Not gonna lie, it's much easier not talking while doing this. Okay, so eyeliner's on. We're gonna keep this handy. Thank you. My real eyelashes are all thanks to the Esteem Lash Serum and the other lash products. If you need my lash growth regimen, comment lash growth down below and I'll tell you all the products that I've been using. You will thank me later. Your lashes will literally grow like weeds. So. Next step is the magnetic liner. So this also comes in the bundles, August special, it's all lashes, so make sure to check that out. So the magnetic liner is an eyeliner, but it's um, has kind of a, how do I wanna say this, like a firmer tip to it. So we have found that t dabbing it on versus trying to swipe it on is better. So we're gonna follow that line. I'm gonna try not to talk because it's hard to talk and do this. Okay, I've done one side, one half. I'm gonna go in for a little bit more because I want, I want a lot of it. Okay, I'm only gonna do one side right now. And then I have such long lashes that the liner gets on my lashes, but it's okay because now I'm gonna go in with my twisted mascara while I wait for the magnetic liner to be just a little, a little more tackier. And I'm going to do a base coat of my twisted mascara right on top one because this will help to um, make my lashes look a little bit like blacker. So it matches the magnet magnetic lashes even better and also if you got any magnetic liner in your lashes this will help to like remove it so we have our twisted mascara we want to let it dry just a little bit and now we're going to go in with the magnetic lashes in the shade inspiring or in the in the type inspiring so these ones are really cool because one has a reusable case two it has anchors which you can use on the bottom side if that's your forte i personally don't like to use those i like to just use the light the magnetic liner. So you're gonna grab your lash, always measure and put it on there and then you'll trim off the edges to make them a little bit smaller for your lash. Then you're going to just go in and press it to it. It's going to literally like suck it right in. Then you're gonna take your tweezers and you're going to use this to help to get it like precisely on there. Hold on. does take some slight finessing, but once you get it, it's phenomenal. Ta-da! Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And it really holds on there nice. Okay, so then what I'll do is I'll take my 
twisted and I'll just kind of like apply a little bit. Now the magnetic lashes, you can actually reuse up to 40 times, which is a really good way to save money on mascara because you can literally wear these 40 times before you need to like throw them away or start over. Now I'm going to take the magnetic liner on the other side and we're going to repeat. I'm using the magnetic lash in the shade in, or in the type inspiring. But if you have really, really small lashes or blonde lashes, or you just are so tired of wearing mascara, <laughs> this is a good option. Okay, so, just like so, and then go in with your lash, which I've already trimmed. There are two different types. There is the one called Inspiring, which is the one I'm using, and then this one is called Encouraging. There's also, which is really exciting, they just launched a lash curler. So your typical amazing lash curler. So if you've been wanting to buy one of these, this one's really nice, it has a nice rubber to it. It's very comfortable. And that's also part of the August special. And then you can actually buy this. You can buy all of these things by themselves as well. So anchors are like so. So you'll take your tweezers and you can use your anchors to help to hold the lash in place. So what you'll do is you'll use them. You'll take them like this on the tweezers and then you take them underneath and it attaches to it to hold everything in a place just like that. So you can use as many anchors as you're wanting. For me, for example, if I'm like gonna be out and about and I really don't want to even worry anything about my lashes, I'll use two anchors on either sides um, just cause then it like really holds it into place and you can even feel it like be more firming, I guess, um, is a really nice part about it too. But that was a whole makeup look, you guys. I am gonna make sure to set my makeup. So spray. And then notice that I didn't do this before. I did my magnetic lash and that's because my magnetic lashes aren't going to smudge or smear or anything, but it's also going to help to hold everything in a place. And it also takes away that like makeupy look in your foundation. And you guys, I'm using a fan and look at these lashes. They're not even budging. Isn't that amazing? So good, so easy to use. Yes, you can totally wear the magnetic lashes with glasses. Absolutely. So if you guys have any questions or you need any help or you need help picking out products, definitely make sure you grab your magnetic lashes on sale in the August special. Comes with literally everything you need plus more. Um, so make sure to grab that there. There's three options on the magnetic lash bundles. So make sure to take advantage of that under August special, rayahope.com. If you guys have any questions, please reach out to me here on Facebook. If you need to be color matched, comment color match down below. Yes, they're extremely comfortable, especially for being false lashes. I feel like that's something that I have always hated about fake lashes is that they feel heavy. These do not feel heavy whatsoever swimming with magnetic lashes I probably wouldn't submerse them like soak them but you can absolutely like jump in the water with them they have been proven to be water resistant so if you were to jump in the pool with them or the ocean I'd probably use your anchors just for a little extra like hold but I have seen uh, demos of girls jumping in the water with them and they are perfectly fine so I say stamp of approval <laughs> But again, let me know if I could be of any help. Make sure to grab your magnetic lashes, share and save this tutorial on your wall. So that way, when you get them in the mail, you can put them on with me. How to take them off, you literally just hold the corner and pull off, does not hurt, doesn't pull, does nothing, it's magnetic. So it's just like having um, the magnets on there and just like pulls it apart. So completely safe, um, completely safe for your eyes. 
There's no harsh chemicals. There's nothing harmful about any of this. Um, and then again, they're on sale under August special. But let me know if I could be of any help for you guys. And I will have posted kind of a shorter tutorial on how to put them on um, uh, for you guys too. Do you advise ruling your own, ruling your own lashes first? Do you mean curling? Um, yes, if you have straighter lashes, I do recommend, I have more curled lashes um, just from using the Esteem Lash Serum. But if you have straight lashes, definitely. So your steps, so starting from the beginning, is you'll curl your lashes, you'll, pop, you'll apply your lash liner, then you'll apply your magnetic liner, then you're gonna put on a tiny bit of mascara, and then apply your magnetic lash. So those are the order that it's gonna go in. Curl, liner, magnetic liner, twisted mascara lashes. Okay. So I hope that kind of helped answer a ton of the questions. Let me know if I could be of any help. I'll make sure to go ahead and leave you guys my full product list right here that I'll upload here in a second. My lipstick combination was the lipstick in the shade easy street and the lip gloss in the shade luxe. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye.